This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Lewis theory of acids and bases. So let's start with a definition. A Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor and a Lewis base is an electron pair donor. In this reaction, we have the Lewis acid, which is A, reacting with a Lewis base, which is B, to form the adduct AB. Lewis acids are electron deficient and Lewis bases are electron rich. In the reaction, a coordinate covalent bond is formed between the Lewis acid and the Lewis base. This coordinate covalent bond results in the formation of the adduct. So next we'll have a look at an example. Here we have the reaction between boron trifluoride and ammonia. The boron atom in boron trifluoride is electron deficient. It only has six electrons in its valence shell. Ammonia has a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom. When they react together, they form an adduct, which is BF3NH3. Boron trifluoride acts as a Lewis acid by accepting a lone pair of electrons from ammonia. Ammonia is donating a lone pair of electrons, therefore it's acting as a Lewis base. Once again, we have the formation of a coordinate covalent bond between BF3 and NH3. This coordinate covalent bond results in the formation of the adduct. The Lewis theory of acids and bases can also be applied to the formation of complex ions. In this reaction, a copper 2 plus ion reacts with six water molecules to form a complex ion. In the reaction, each water molecule donates a lone pair of electrons to the central metal ion. This results in the formation of a coordinate covalent bond. The water molecules, which are also known as ligands, are acting as Lewis bases, and the central metal ion is acting as a Lewis acid. Next, we look at electrophiles and nucleophiles. So starting with electrophiles, which are electron deficient species that accept lone pairs of electrons, therefore acting as Lewis acids. So here we have three examples of electrophiles. From left to right, we have aluminium chloride, a carbocation, and hydrogen bromide. Here we have an example of a reaction where hydrogen bromide is acting as an electrophile. In the reaction, an alkene, which is an unsaturated hydrocarbon, is converted to a halogenoalkane. This reaction will be covered in more detail in topic 20. Next, we have nucleophiles, which are electron-rich species that donate lone pairs of electrons. Therefore, they act as Lewis bases. Here we have three examples of nucleophiles. From left to right, we have the hydroxide ion, the bromide ion, and the cyanide ion. In this reaction, we have the hydroxide ion acting as a nucleophile. In the reaction, a halogenoalkane is converted to an alcohol. This reaction will be covered in more detail in topic 20. We'll end the video with a summary. Starting with the definitions, a Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor and a Lewis base is an electron pair donor. An example of a Lewis acid is boron trifluoride and NH3 ammonia is a Lewis base. In terms of complex ions, central metal ions act as Lewis acids and ligands act as Lewis bases. In organic chemistry, electrophiles act as Lewis acids and nucleophiles act as Lewis bases. So that's all from this video. In the next video, we'll have a comparison of the Bronsted-Lowry theory and the Lewis theory.